Rick Legina has just discovered something terrifying about the Oak Island money pit. Wrapped in a cloak of mystery, the island whispers of long-buried treasures, hidden chambers, and the secrets of the island, which have been teasing and tormenting explorers for centuries now. Treasure seekers, ranging from pirates' hordes to Templar relics, have been drawn by allure of Oak Island's treasures. So then, what did Rick see? Did he finally unlock an ultimate treasure? Join us as we go through Rick Legina, who just discovered this terrifying thing about the Oak Island money pit, the findings of B4C shaft. The year ended dramatically with Rick Legina and his colleagues at Oak Island, again finding some hope that the elusive money pit treasure would be discovered. Deep within the B4C shaft, situated a mere five feet north of Borehole Sea, a tantalizing possibility emerged. Gold could be exposed after being covered for centuries. The B4C shaft kept on digging with a 90-foot target, challenging exploration limits and approaching the mythical treasure cave. Previous discoveries in Cluster C1 had indicated that there existed wooden tunnels dating back to the 15th century, suggesting that the island has a mysterious historical past. However, the discovery of large amounts of silver and gold shocked the team and sparked intense rumors. Though these were exciting findings, they presented a deep puzzle. How did people in the 15th century know the technology and skills required for constructing wooden tunnels this elaborate? The bizarre aspect associated with the find only made an already curious enigma even more confusing as it concerned the island. Did the money pit occur at a different location than what they were previously expecting? Could the tunnels be the guardians of a secret room full of unknown treasures? Will the mystery surrounding the money pit finally be revealed? Will the whispers of gold point their way to the best dream fortune? Why was it even built in the first place? Why were they done? The shaft, known as B4C, was like a beacon of hope at the end of the excavation season, still going downwards towards the desired 90-foot depth. Every inch was like getting closer to the famous money pit, with the secrets of the latter just within reach. The air was full of anticipation as the team carefully picked out the earth, eyes searching for any shimmer of gold and echoes from the past. The reward for their effort was a breakthrough, a tunnel. When at 90 feet, one unexciting passage has shocked everybody in the crew. Finally, is this the long-sought entrance to the heart of the money pit? The team, which had been pushed to the end of many blind alleys and hollow hopes, could not be overcome by unrestrained optimism, but the discovery simmered with hope in their hearts. In addition, gold was found deep within the tunnel and could be seen glittering among the moist soil. This supported their assumption that indeed the money pit was the source of the treasure on the island. With the gold as a concrete reminder of their former glory, they continued onward, seeking to decipher the riddles that had remained undiscovered for generations. One by one, the earth gave up its treasures as they dug deeper into it. Some pieces of fallen wood made silent witnesses for ancient times scattered along the way. However, it was a single, heavy, and grossly made iron bolt that attracted them. In concentration, experts estimated its age to be as far back as the 1800s or earlier. The discovery of such earlier relics revealed a history well beyond their imagination. The handcrafted spike formed the highlight of their findings. Its raw, iron-forged surface whispered of the struggle and pain of an era. Every handmade tip of these had a chapter to be unlocked in Oak Island's mystery. However, it was apparent to the team that this artifact was significant, and they promised themselves that they were going to reveal the secrets of it, each revelation adding another brushstroke to the intricate canvas of the island. But their descent was not smooth sailing. At a depth of 130 feet, the B4C encountered a huge obstacle, which was bedrock. This unexpected stumbling block, the bitter irony of success at the very threshold, proved to be a formidable barrier. In the vicinity of the money pit, it was impossible to carry on excavations further under the incursion and ever-present adversary of time. At the research center, the air crackled with excitement as important personalities, such as Marty Legina, Craig Tester, Gary Drayton, and Carmen Legg, a blacksmithing expert, stood around a table. Their gaze was directed at a small object, the iron spike extracted from the B4C shaft over 100 feet underground. Indeed, the rough contours of the spike that Carmen traced with the tips of her fingers were especially able to speak the ancient language of metal. A precise analysis of the secret contained in this object had promised to reveal its historic setting and probable usefulness. Nevertheless, the team's excitement did not limit itself to the spike. The rock drill was the second discovery to emerge from the money pit, 
mimicking the echoes of the past. This ancient instrument was thought to have been invented by an ancient man long before modern technology was developed. It almost looked like medieval tools. The questions arose at the moment when it arrived on the scene. Could it be another piece of the money pit puzzle? Did it open up its long guarded hidden chambers containing its secrets? The thought gave a thrill to the team and their hearts beat as they expected to find hidden riches. As they delved deeper into the rock drill's potential significance, a tantalizing notion emerged. Is it possibly a connection to the very roots of the money pit? Their resolve was fueled by the idea of undiscovered rooms, covert corridors, and hidden vaults buried in the ground. These discoveries only strengthened their courageous spirit rather than dampening it, since they were momentarily halted from excavation. Every revelation, each uncovered piece of the past, constituted a strong reminder of the mystique of Oak Island. The truth is whispered on the island and the recent discoveries, iron spikes and ancient rock drills have testified to the power of the island to beckon secrets closer to the truth. The quest had just come to a halt but was still very far from complete. Their hearts abounded with the fire of exploration, pushing them onward into the very essence of the mystery. The whispers of the past became louder as the B4C shaft went down. An old earth path, the meaning of which is lost in time, appeared from under the thicket and crept through. In another area, a vast stretch of the marsh emerged, with stones littering the surface as silent watchmen of secrets forgotten. These findings sparked several questions. The question remains, who weaved such elaborate mysteries into the fabric of Oak Island? Had the Laginas finally caught up with the mysterious individuals who had masterminded such a puzzle since ancient times? And who knows what secrets and what lost treasure lay under the depths of the legendary money pit? Despite the excitement, the Legina brothers maintained focus, acknowledging the immense support from their team and viewers. A quiet assurance of their search matched a belief that the island's secrets included gold. Despite these marvelous discoveries, however, the cold truth remained under the surface. On the other hand, Oak Island was surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, and it had a more sinister past, the Whisper of Horror. A group of young men who embarked on an innocent excavation came across a horror scene. The encounter with the island's hidden horrors was an emblem of the cost of curiosity. The team was always vigilant, as chasing the truth was a dangerous job. Yet, their determination remained unwavering. They were not just spelunkers of the earth, but also of time. Each discovery was like a torch, shedding light on the mysterious history of the island. The whispers of the ancient stone road and the secrets told by the stones in the swamp all called to them to unravel the island's tangled fabric, whatever chilling truths it may reveal. In the course of this quest, history began to merge with legends. The search for the island started as a journey to explore what had driven the previous searchers to the island and the island itself. The faces of the Laginas were etched with the determination of explorers and the humility of scholars as they stood at the threshold of a revelation. Whether they would uncover untold riches or face unimaginable horrors, one thing remained certain. Oak Island, the siren of the North Atlantic, was not going to part with its secrets lightly. In the meantime, Crackling anticipations suffused the air as they dug into the B4C shaft. Man-made stones and planks of old wood came up from the depths, and every spark of metal or word of decay fueled their belief they were on the verge of a monumental discovery. In their imaginative minds, they saw visions of pirate hordes and long-lost riches which pushed them further into the island's mysterious embrace. Nevertheless, their hand-digging was stopped at 20 feet. But the earth hardened over time and secrets would not give up more. However, this was merely the introduction to a set of disturbing findings. After others tried, they uncovered a sinister symphony of horror. At 90 feet, a terrifying reality lay in wait. Before, strange objects and platforms appeared at unsettling intervals. It was a grim sentinel, a stone with cryptic symbols. Nevertheless, the worst was yet to come. As dawn approached, they realized that the excavation they had assumed was a pit was a trap. Lying dormant were mined, ready to claim careless souls while a secret path crawled towards the merciless ocean. The question hung heavy in the air. Who would create a trap, a labyrinth, designed to trap and drown? A sick mind driven by murderous intentions? Was it made part of the fabric of the island or was it a manifestation of the infamous curse that enveloped Oak Island in darkness? With the inquiry gaining momentum, an air of nervousness was palpable in the community. 
However, the Oak Island team, tempered by past challenges, refused to give in. In the face of fear, their resolve remained solid. Their persistence paid off in the money pit. At 90 feet, they found a hoard of silver and gold, shining witnesses to a hidden secret. Is this the money pit revealing its treasures at last? Was it a secret corridor or a secret door leading to an underground vault full of riches? The tempting and terrifying possibilities surrounded them. The team continued forward despite the uneasy environment and the whispers of bygone terrors. Discovery after discovery, the more of the island's history was revealed, the deeper they plunged into the heart of the mystery. Each shovel full of earth helped them fit a puzzle that was wider than the stories about pirates. The Knights, Templar, Freemasons, and even those who disappeared into the obscurity of time started emerging from the shadows. One by one, their motives and connections to Oak Island started becoming known. The perilous journey was accompanied by uncertainty, but the Oak Island team was not demoralized. Their inquisitiveness and unyielding faith in the truth compelled them to move further into the island's secrets, their steps reverberating with time until the time when the veil that had been hiding the secrets would finally be removed. Just for some recap, let's go through the treasures found in Seasons 10 and 11 so far. Season 10 gave way to these treasures. Speculation was further fueled by the third Templar Clues episode. An enigmatic stone box of uncertain origin, possibly that of a Templar, emerged from the chapel vault, leading to further speculation about what was inside it. On the other hand, the drilling that took place at the 10X showed a new tunnel and raised the possibility of the discovery of the money pit. The sixth episode saw a return to the 10X chamber that had previously been flooded with tunnel vision. This courageous re-entry also yielded additional artifacts that only strengthened the chamber's significance and paved the way for further exploration. The discovery of a wooden shaft within the chapel vault suggested possible connections to the outside world, making the builders and purpose of this enigmatic structure even more baffling. Episode 10 of Knights of the Templar culminated in a series of discoveries that made historians feel goosebumps. Smith's Cove lead finally gave strong evidence of the involvement of the Templars in Oak Island's history. On the other hand, a study of the Money Pit core samples indicated the presence of wood, charcoal, and other organic debris lending fire to the rumor of buried structures. A Templar cross of complex design blazed historical interest anew from the 10x level of the Chapel Vault. The similarity of its image to the symbols commonly associated with the Knights Templar together with its position on the map near a potential Templar tunnel, gave a very interesting idea of the possible connection between the island and the famous order. There was a weathered wooden chest that held the secrets of the money pit deep into the pit. This discovery at the 10X level was being hailed as a possible game changer. It could give clues to the purpose of the pit and the nature of its treasure. In the depths of the pit, an iron hammer whispered of human presence and activity next to the chest. The handle, smooth from time, provided a touchable link to those who dared to navigate the pit's secrets. Although not unearthed in the money pit or the chapel vault, the finding of a lead cross in Smith's Cove echoed the emergent Templar theory. Stylistically, the 10X was so similar that it linked the two places even more than they were already similar, implying a possible thematic or symbolic link that transcended physical boundaries. Lastly, an 18th century coin at the 10X stage within Money Pit provided a piece of real history. This coin was not in the literal sense a treasure but placed human activity on the island in the early period of Oak Island exploration. The coin marked the island's rich and mysterious past. The findings of Season 11 of Oak Island's exploration were nothing short of astonishing, breaking old myths and adding more chapters to the history of the island. Particularly, the four coins found in Lot 5 caused a major storm in the historical context. Their various origins, including Roman, Indian mint, Spanish treasure, and even English plunder, shattered the European-centered perspective of the history of Oak Island. These coins spoke of far-flung connections, trade routes, and cultural exchanges that preceded European exploration and broadened the possible population of the island. The discovery of a lead barter token, which had a similar shape to the mystifying Smith's Cove Cross, added to the confusion as it suggested the possible link between ancient civilization and pre-colonial visitors. However, the Lot 5 coin contained a very small gold flake, which caused the team to quake. The Roman relic was the last piece of evidence on the island which indicated that Roman artifacts existed. The discovery was exciting and made the mystery more complicated and intriguing. 
In addition, the unexpected appearance of a 6th to 8th century Indian coin was found on the island. This coin had a particular punch mark design that widened the scope of the potential connections. It said that the ocean had been there before the Europeans and trade routes spanned oceans and continents and cultural exchanges. Finally, the biggest Roman coin that was ever found on Oak Island surfaced from the depths, its mysterious inscription and striking portrait stirring up speculation as to the degree of the Roman activities and the possible presence of more Roman artifacts. However, the whispers of Oaks Island's past were not restricted to the real space. In a tantalizing peek at the mysteries of the island's submerged secrets, the team ventured a few meters underwater near the ball hole. Sunken pottery, a hand-carved wooden plank, and an object resembling a coin indicated the remains of shipwrecks, lost settlements, and uncountable tales that still await salvage from the depths. These nautical artifacts, though not individual treasures, make up a picture of previous activity of submerged structures and settlements lost to the tides. Thank you for watching another episode of Oak Island. While you're still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.